Okay, how's it going guys? Connor's here and welcome to a brand new playthrough. Today we're going to be playing through Pokemon Splice. So this is going to be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th game from the Relic Castle Game Jam number 6, or 2020, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, it's the 5th game we're going to be playing for the Game Jam. Uh, if you want to play it yourself, link will be in the description down below. With that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Head straight to those options. Fast, off, and um, too big. I think fire red leaf greens, good. All right, new game. Oh, hello, hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you. And it just started raining for whatever reason. Okay, didn't expect that. My name is Professor Cypress. Cypress. I said Cyrus. My life's work is the research of advancing Pokemon through genetics. Just in case... I didn't get to finish reading that. Oh, what the hell is that? This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. But I believe Pokemon are so much more than that. I didn't know this game had Fakemon. Dude, that's dope. Look at that thing. Is that a... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Pokemon have limitless potential to help improve our world. Now there's something else I need to tell you about. There are others in the Stacona, Stacona, Stacona region, like me, who also research the genetics of Pokemon. The two other leading scientists are my children. He has an egg and a green eye. <laughs> this is my son, Damien. He's the lead botanical researcher of the Stacona region and the founder of the Biogress Foundation. Damien is very passionate about discovering and creating new forms of life. Okay. This is my daughter, Bridget. 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 Okay. She's the top mechanical engineer in the Stacona region. She's also the president of Quantech Co., which provides power for the whole region from the Lumagen City Power Plant. Bridget and her company are creating new species of mechanical Pokemon, last I heard. Unfortunately, she and her brother don't seem to get along. So one's about, you know, nature and one's about science, basically. Nature versus science. They both believe that their field of research is superior. Now that my history lesson is over, tell me a little about yourself. I can't hire you as my new lab assistant without getting to know you first. Now tell me. Ooh, hello. These are some custom sprites we got here. Dope. Got the all blue on. Uh, we'll be the boy. Let's begin. What is your name? That's easy. All right, so your name is Mark? Yes. Well, Mark, I'm excited to start working with you. I've been friends with your mom for years, and she said you were interested in a Pokemon research job. This is perfect timing, too, because I need a new lab assistant. Oh, hello. This was my last lab assistant. What was his name again? I don't know. <laughs> just call him Green. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just call him Green. Or was it Green? Uh, no. I'll give him a nickname. Or a name. You mean Nico? Yes. Ah, oh, that's right. His name is Nico. He used to be my assistant until I fired him last week for, <laughs> for doing a shit job at it. He's a brilliant boy, but his research me methods were a bit uh, extreme. He likes to dissect Pokemon. <laughs> that and he was making my test subjects incredibly uncomfortable. Mark, I look forward to seeing you at my lab soon. World of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go. All right, cool. Look at us in all blue. It's saved before anything bad happens. I can look at the controls. Actually, I should probably want to look up the control for, uh, where is it at? Register F, got it. Never remember the button for registered items. What do I have two computers for? What do I need two for? One's good enough. 
Yeah, what's the point of having two? Oh well. Oh good, you're awake. You excited for the first day at your new job? Okay, we're back. Sorry for the interruptions, continue on. You always wanted to work with Pokemon. Yeah, this should be great experience. I just hope I don't mess anything up. I'm sure you'll do great, honey. Maybe Professor Cypress can teach you a few things about becoming a Pokemon trainer while you're there too. That would be fun. <laughs> She's an old friend of mine, so remember to be polite to her. And remember to always say thank you and yes please. And don't forget to bring a few Pokeballs. Ten. Nice. Do I get a free Premier Ball too? No? Damn. I'll be polite, Mom. Thanks for the Pokeballs, though. Anyway, I hope you have a great first day, honey. Proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, head out. My house. Nice. Got a nice looking house there. Hold X to skip through text boxes quickly. Really? Okay. Good to know, good to know. See a rare item across the water there. You can tell it's a TM because it's yellow. I wonder if it's any good. Uh, that looks like green to me, but okay. It could be yellow. Ooh, free shit. Love me some free stuff. Now we'll check out this town. There's a red tree over there. We'll check out this town before we go to the lab. Look at the red tree. Oh, there's more two red trees. It's a bunch of them. Press F to open a list of your registered key items. Dope. Hello. Just a lazy bum trying to get out. <laughs> okay, damn. Yo, yo, your wife's talking shit, dude. No good fish under this dock. Would you like tea? Uh, sure. Wow. Okay. No rod without a Pokemon. I'm sure Magikarp are very dangerous. Got a random old man. He's probably going to block my path, but I'll try to go anyways. Oh, yep. I dropped my contact lenses around here somewhere. You better not step on them. Well, it's not my fault you dropped them. Oh, it's Nico's house. Cool. Hello. Gah! That Cypress is such a pain. It's not my fault that weird abomination she's researching doesn't like me. <laughs> now to find a new job. Man, being a lab assistant paid pretty well too. Maybe I should just move out of this town. <laughs> Shit, had a sneeze. Whoa, who the heck are you? Were you just listening to me talking to myself? Get the heck out of you, little creepy nerd. Oh, well, that's rude. Damn. I just wanted to say hi. I'm the person who's Took, I'm the person who took your job. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. Man. Oh well. At least we got these free orange berries. Jammin'. Oh, okay. I see it there. Oh, well, there's level ranges for each route. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got some more berries. Those citrus berries? Love me some citrus berries. Yes, they are. Sweet. All right, it's last house, and then we'll uh, go to the lab. Hello, nerd. Okay. Wait, with at least five registered Pokemon? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. An epic battle between Voltorb and Badoo. <laughs> uh, my money's on the Badoo, honestly. Actually, that Voltorb knows Sonic Boom. My money's on the Voltorb. All right, uh, is there any hidden item back here? Maybe, possibly. I love when I find hidden items. It's the best feeling in the world. Okay, nothing. Welcome, Mark. I'm glad you could make it. I hope you and your mom are doing well. You look so much like her now that you've grown up. It's uncanny. So, are you ready to get started as my new research assistant? Oh, I sure am, Professor. How should I get started? Well, the first order of business will be a little test. If you pass the test, I think you can be a great asset in furthering my research. But just so you know, I had to let go of my last lab assistant because of this test. He was unable to get along with my research specimen here. 
If you can get along with my research specimen, you'll pass the test. So let's get started. There is, what the hell is that? Arena? Arena, 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 A, yeah, Arena, okay. It can change its genetic structure to suit its environment. It's a special type of cephalopod Pokemon. It looks like a, uh, what's that, what's the thing's name? Uh, blue ringed octopus. Is that what it's supposed to be based off of? That's what it looks like. And I've been researching its genome. Arena's genome is unique in that it can modify cells with external stimuli. Here, I'll provide a, dem a demonstration of what I mean so you can better understand what Arena is supposed is ex when Arena is exposed to a s collection of water cellulose. Oh shit, it's blue. It changes to a water type Pokemon. Oh, dude, dope. When you take the water cellulose away, it returns to its standard normal typing. Arena can also change types too. Oh shit, that's a Oh, that thing looks dope now. It looks really cool. Fire type, as well as grass type. So can it change into any typing, or is it just those three? Yeah, this thing's pretty dope. Now let's remove the cellulose from Arena. There we are, back to normal. So Mark, what do you think of my research? This is incredible. I've never seen any Pokemon like this before. I'm flattered. Helping Arena unlock new forms through cellulose application has taken many years of research. Arena is a very unique Pokemon, the only one in the world with this capability. Now, as for the test I mentioned earlier, I would like you to pet Arena. What? You just want me to pet Arena? That's the test? That's it. I need to make sure you get along with my research subject. Now, come on over here and introduce yourself to Arena. Uh, let me introduce myself to this guy first. Okay. Um, I love how he get. <laughs> I love how he also gets like a little, you know, talking sprite or whatever you want to call this when they have a conversation. He gets a little sprite too. It's a fucking great. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Arena stares into your eyes. Well, I guess I'll pet you now, nice and slow. You lightly pat, pat, pat. I, was, I didn't get to read that. Oh, it's very squishy. All right. Irene likes you. Fantastic. Looks like Irene likes you. Well, Irene, what do you think about Mark? How would you feel about being Irene's trainer? Are you sure that's okay? I've never taken care of a Pokemon before, and Irene is so special. It's okay, Mark. I can tell you have great potential within you. Your mother was a great Pokemon trainer, and I can tell you'll be just as good, if not better. I trust you completely to look after Arena and help continue my research. Please, Mark, take care of Arena and help it grow. Well, if you say so. Uh, I'm not going to give it a nickname just because I need to you know, uh, recognize its original name, so for now I'm going to say no. Actually, no, I am going to give it a nickname. I'm going to nickname Squishy. There we go. I'm so glad we have you as my new assistant, Mark. With your help, I'm sure you will be able to see Arena grow to many new forms. I am happy to help you any way I can, Professor. All right, now that you have Arena, you should speak to one of my two children. Both of my children are renowned scientists who can help you further your research with Arena. My son Damien lives in Floral Town to the north, and my daughter Bridget lives in Lumigen City to the south. I haven't spoken with them in a while, as they consider themselves to be intellectually superior to me. Damn! <laughs> that's, 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 okay, wow. But I'm certain they'll be very interested in Arena. I'm happy to help any way I can, Professor. I'll go speak to Damien and Bridget and see if I can make any breakthrough with Arena. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I need to give you before you leave. Free stuff. Pokedex. What about the balls on the table? What are those? I want them. Here, Mark. If you're going to help me with my research as you travel the region, you're going to need these. Or this. 
Thank you, Professor. I'll get started on collecting data right away. Good luck in your travels, Mark. If you ever need anything, you can always come talk to me. Uh, can I have? Develop it using psychic cells. Ooh, not ready though. You could register 25 or more different Pokemon species into your Pokedex. That should be enough to help me finish this project. Okay. So these are future cellulose. We need so we have psychic, ice, we need 50. Damn. And this one is dragon, 100. 75. Yeah, dude, I've never caught 75 Pokemon in a fan game in my life. That's wild. Oh, shit. Whoa, watch it, loser. Hey, Cypress. So, this is awkward, but I need you to sign some unemployment papers. Ah, hello again, Nico. I'll sign any papers you need me to sign. Hope you're doing well, by the way. I've been better. I'm still figuring some things out for my own research prospects even though I thought I was doing a fine job here. But uh, whatever, that's in the past. Here, just sign this and I'll be out of here. There we go, all signed for you, Nico. Thanks, Cypress. This is gonna help a bunch. By the way, how's Arena doing? Not that I care at all, though if there were any research breakthroughs for its form changing. Sorry, Nico, but now that you're not my assistant, I will not be disclosing any of my confidence confidential research information with you. You must know, my new assistant Mark will be taking care of Irene. Mark is al already has a healthy relationship with Irene. I believe they'll be able to help me make the next step in my research. What? That nerd near the <laughs> entrance is actually training Irene now? Hey you! You're the new assistant to Professor Cypress? Yes I am. You must be Nico. I've heard nothing but bad things about you. <laughs> So hopefully I'll do a better job than you ever did. Man, our character's talking shit! Wait a second. You're that creep that broke into my house. Look, I'm feeling pretty frustrated with my life lately. And you seem like the perfect nerd to take that frustration out on. Come meet me outside and I'll pulverize you in arena in a battle. Don't keep me waiting, Mark. Oh boy. I didn't expect my old assistant Nico to come back here and want to battle. Arena. Uh, here, you're gonna need these. Hey, the celluloses. The celluloses. Nico's a pretty strong trainer, Mark. But if you give Arena a cellulose to hold, you should have the edge in battle. Arena's signature move, Cell Shot, changes to match its current type. Additionally, Arena's stats will change based on its form. If only I remembered which type of Pokemon Nico used to use. I think he had his own Eevee that he was researching. And some sort of dragon Pokemon? Eh, I wish I could be more help. I believe in you, though, Mark. You and Arena can beat Nico. Well, none of these cellulose should help with a dragon type, since dragon resists grass, fire, and water, I believe. So none of that would help. All right, but let's take a look at him here. So we have Squishy the Arena. It's normal type now. Ability Splice allows the user to change forms while holding cellulose. Cool. Okay, has Cell Shot, 35, 100. Tackle and Smokescreen. All right. So let's try giving him one of the, uh, I think we'll go with the water. Let's give him the water cellulose. Oh my god. Oh, he got all... <laughs> he got it looks like... He looks sad, dude. Jesus. Why is he so sad for? Does he not like that one? Damn. Let's take his special stats raise. Which is nice, because cell shot is a, uh... Special moves. I think we'll stick with water for now. I'm going to save real quick. And we'll uh, see what happens. Well, look who decided to show up. Hope you and Arena are ready to get beaten. Ah, there's Arena. Remember me, buddy? I'm the old lab assistant you used to hate. Used to. I think he still hates you. <laughs> I just can't seem to get through this little thing. I tried being nice and it always rejects me, so naturally, I'd start getting frustrated. This gross little blob cost me my future as a researcher. I'm gonna crush it. Hey, leave Irene alone. Irene probably doesn't like you because it can tell how much of a jerk you are. I've known Irene way longer than you have, kid. I can talk to this little monster <laughs> however I want. Damn, he's talking shit. <laughs> Wait a second. 
It sure does look different than normal, though. The heck is going on? Did Professor Cypress finally make that breakthrough in her research without me? Darn, now I'm getting really angry. Prepare to be pulverized, little nerd. <laughs> God. All right. Hopefully he has something that's weak to water. Preferably not Jolteon. Gibble. Oh, that's actually perfect. It's ground type, right? So this will be neutral instead of not very effective, which is nice. And I'm already going to miss my... Mm okay. Okay. Two in a row. Two in a row. All right, one down. Is this going to be Eevee or did he evolve it at some point? Okay, no, it's just Eevee, so hopefully we're good. And I'm going to miss again. Fantastic. I love Pokemon. I've already missed three times. I'm going to use my one potion. Just got to hit one more, one more attack. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. And that's our victory. What the heck is going on? How did Arena get so strong? God, I hate everything. Huh. Looks like that Arena isn't as weak as I thought. You know what? You're all right, kid. Don't think I'll let you off the hook for this, though. I've got some research of my own I need to do. You and Cypress aren't the only nerds messing with Pokemon genetics. I'm gonna go cool down and then focus on researching how to make my Pokemon way stronger than Arena. Next time I see you two, I'll crush you. All right. Arena looks proud of itself. Great, great work, Arena. Arena, I knew you could do it. Let's get going now and continue our research together. All right, I need to heal first of all. The real question now is, where should I go? Should I head north and talk to Damien? Or should I head south and speak with Brigid? Biological research or mechanical research? Maybe I should check with Mom and see what she thinks. Well, one thing's for certain, at least. I can't spend all day standing around here in Monkto Town. Or can I? Chapter 1, Branching Science. Okay. So let's split into chapters, I see. Interesting. Hello, Mother. Hello, honey. How did things go with Professor Cypress? Is she doing well? They went great. She officially hired me as her new research assistant. I think I'm still more of a low-level intern right now, though. She even gave me a special new Pokemon to take care of. Traveling around the region with Arena is going to be a big help for Professor Cypress's research. Oh, wow, that's so amazing. I'm so proud of you, honey. Can I have that town map? Hey, since you're, since you're a Pokemon trainer, now you should have this. Town map? It's an old map we had stashed away in the cabinet. Nice. Now I can know where I'm going. <laughs> it's nice to know where I'm going. I hope that helps you in your journey around Stan Stacona. Be safe, sweetie. Remember to always take care of your Pokemon. Thanks, Mom. I'll be sure to come back and check in with you often. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a damn lie. I'm only going to come back if I need to be healed and I'm nearby. All right. Uh, okay, we need to go. Get, I think we can't get this thing that this guy wants to give us until we have five registered Pokemon. Yeah, he wants. Okay. All right, so five registered, but we can't get the old rod down here with the this fisherman. And I might even try to use it. Maybe catch a Magikarp or something. Uh, let me register that old rod real quick. All right, see if we can catch like a magic or something. I wouldn't mind Gyarados. It's never a bad thing to have a Gyarados on the team. What the hell is that? That is not the magic carp I'm used to seeing. Yo, I'm catching this thing. I 
I'm not going to lie, I love the color scheme of that Magikarp. I love the color scheme. Better than the original. Original is like orangish. I didn't, didn't really like it. This one though looks pretty. It's a water electric. Holy shit. Its swim muscles are weak, so it's easily washed away by currents. In places where water pools, you can see many Magikarp de deposited there by the flow. Yo, it's water electric. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Yes, I am very much want to have this Magikarp. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So do we go down to Iron... So we have to make a decision. Do we go down to Iron Pass? Wait, which way do we even go? There's two directions down, down we have to go. Plunge Pass. Where are we... Okay, we have three different ways we can go. Plunge Pass, Iron Pass. So north leads to Floral Town. This leads to Driftwood City. And this leads to Lumingen Town, which I'm assuming is where we have to go. I want these berries first and foremost. I don't think we can go this way because I'm. If you can see to the right, there's a, uh, there's rocks. I don't think we're gonna be able to pass those rocks. I'm gonna look around for some free stuff though. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go. Th oh, what about down here? More berries. I'll take them. Oh shit! Adorable. That's the bull thing we saw earlier. You're getting caught. Adorable. God, that's so cheesy. Here we go, let's catch this thing. I think it might be just pure normal, which, eh, I'm not a fan of just pure normal types. Maybe normal, maybe ground type it could be as well. The wild bull Pokemon, normal. It throws its body against its parents in order to toughen itself up. It'll evolve to a different form based on its gender. Oh, shit, okay. That, that, that thing said, that, that said it weighed 100 and... 94 pounds? That thing didn't look that big. Damn. Lappy Lake. Okay. I'm taking all the berries. All right. Hello, the stranger. Look like a fine young trainer. Can I offer you a Pokemon egg? Yes! I will happily take your egg. Is that a lap? That's a purple Lapras. That's a... Is it shiny Lapras? How the hell, the hell do I get to those berries? Gotta get on the other side of that. A PP up, a pup up. I'll take it. Lapras, come to me. Come hither. He doesn't want to come hither. What do we got in the grass around here? We got a Meryl. No thank you, I have a Magikarp. Got some Lepa berries. Nope. Got some more citrus berries. Nice. I'll take all the berries I can get. Oh, hello. Soothe Bell. That's for friendliness, I think. It's like it's so peaceful. Let's disrupt that peace for a moment. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm not expecting to want to battle me, but all right, let's do it. Wait. Oh, this is an egg. Uh, oh, this is bad. That was very bad. Oh, this is very bad. Hold on. Dumb, come out here and take the hit real quick. I have no healing items either. Shit. This is level 9 too. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this battle. I am most definitely going to lose this battle. Uh, should I just tail whip it? And I'm dead. Great. Yeah. No way we're winning this battle. Not only are we underleveled, but... We have the water, the water version. And we have no healing items and now we're poisoned. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll just take the L here. It's fine. I'll be back for my revenge, revenge someday, but not that day's not now because 
I'm gonna go do some other things. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna, um, do I wanna go north or south? Science or like mechanical science or nature-ish science, bioscience. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go south for mechanical science. That sounds a lot more interesting. You can also go this way, but I feel like this way is gonna be blocked off as well. Yeah, there's, there's a house we can visit. I have a special larvitar. Yes, I want to take your larvitar. Thundaga, the hell? Oh, is that the, uh, I think that's the uh, the name of the, uh, that's the name of the, uh, the developer of the game. The developer of Splice, Thundaga. So it's just the sprite that's different? Has like this little, what is this supposed to be, a scarf? I don't know. It's still rock round though. Sandville. Is it registered to us? Oh, no, it's registered to Cameron, so we can, uh, we'll get some nice extra XP, which is nice. All right, I guess we'll keep it. It's not bad. All right, cool. Can't get over the water, so yeah, I think we'll head south for the uh, mechanical science, just because it sounds more interesting than bioscience or nature science, whatever you call it. So let's head down this way. There's water there. Yo, what the hell is that? Clink! Why does it look so sad? Is this... Why does is... Why is the clink so look so sad, dude? Damn. This clink is so depressed. Let me go ahead and catch this. If we catch this, it'll be five Pokemon, officially, so we can uh, go get that item from that one guy. Yeah, he looks so depressed. Damn. Steel fire. Interlocking two bodies by spinning around generates the energy they need to live. Oh, dude. Shit, it looks so sad. I'm naming depression because they look so fucking sad. Damn. All right. Well, uh, a few things. Actually, there's no piece. Actually... I don't think there's a PC where I can deposit. I was going to deposit the uh, adorable. Just because it's normal type. And I really feel in normal types. Hello there, would you be interested? Yes, I want the item. I have five. Moderately experienced. Yes. Yes. The hell's a gall, gall flute? Galley flute? The hell is that? Outside the harness. Outside to harness the power of wind and travel to places. It may not be entirely safe, but I think it's fixed enough of the issues that were in Encountered in the Alpha Trials. You know how the flu works out for you? Alright, cool. So it's like fly. We can just go places we've already been, I think. Which is useful. Can I go inside this guy's house now that he's not here? I just... It's a crappy old laptop. Is there anything for me to just take from him? Can I just, like, steal from his house? Anything? Okay, looks like I can't rob him. All right, let's continue heading south. Let's take a look at that clink, though. Yeah, look how sad they are, dude. Jeez. Has steampunk. Boosts the power of water-type moves by 50. That's weird. But okay. Yeah, our team's already looking pretty, uh, pretty wild. Not gonna lie. Okay, now I'm kind of interested to look up how many of these, like, different forms of these mons there are. Because we already got two diff... Looking at the team. We got, uh... We got two different forms of n normal Pokemon. We have a Electric Magikarp and a Fire Clink. We have this Special Larvitar, which I'm guessing is only special because of the Sprite. Just because of the Scarf, but, you know, it's enough for me to make me want to keep it. Uh, and then we have this fake Imon as our starter, Arena, Squishy, and then we have this fake Imon over here. That's an egg. This fake Imon, adorable, which is normal type. And again, don't think I'll use it unless it evolves into something that's cool. So uh, yeah, that's what the team's looking like so far. Let's go ahead and uh, head south. 
Found a potion, nice. Love to see it. I feel like I should start training up some uh, some of these other Pokemon. I think we'll start with Depression, just because if we're gonna go get a rematch against that Roselia, having a Fire Steel type is nice because he can resist. Better watch where you're going, trainer. I'm in a foul mood. Oh, I'm in a bad mood. Wouldn't like me when I'm in a bad mood. Oh, he has that clink too. Okay. Yeah, after we record this uh, episode, I think I'm going to do a bit of training because my team is uh, not in fighting position right now. At least every, not anybody except for really just Squishy. He's the only one that's in, in a, at a good enough level to be useful. Hey, learned Ember. Nice. Crabby. Yo, what the hell? Look at that Krabby! That's a weird looking Krabby. It's still water type, but is it something else? Maybe water fighting? Interesting to see. I would like... Ooh, that's not very effective. So is it water steel? It's either water steel or water rock. I think those are the only two that are... It's either water steel or water rock. I'm leaning towards water steel. This is nothing about it screams rock. I don't know. It is a like Krabby is like a beach Pokemon though. You know, there's rocks on the beach. You know, so maybe it could be a rock type. I don't know. I do want to try to catch it though. If I could just find one. Super Potion, nice. I don't want you out front anymore because I need to run away when I can. Get a cave that's blocked right there. Ooh, a TM. Wonder what that is. Ooh, a Drifloon. I'll just uh, not care about that. Rock Tomb. Mm, I guess we can teach it to the Larvitar we just got. It's not completely useless. There's another one of those clinks. <clears throat> yeah, Fiery Kick, show me your moves. Makuhita, gotta go. This is level 10, dude. Shit. Shit, it's doing 12 damage. I might lose this Makuhita, dude. This Makuhita might be it. It's too strong. It's gonna go for Sand Attack. I don't like you, Makuhita. You were unloved. I wanna get rid of that. I don't want the, uh, I don't wanna deal with that. Can I hit him with uh let's hit him with a charm maybe lower his attack? That'd be nice. Oh, adorable live, nice. Hit him again. Hit him with it again, adorable. Ah oh, well, you're dead. Alright, at least you weren't completely useless on my team. You're able to get off two charms. Which will hopefully now make life a lot easier for me. Not if he continues to sand attack. Don't do it. One more hit, come on. One more hit. Nice. Good stuff. We have also now hit level Cell Slam. The hell is Cell Slam? Oh, it's physical. Okay. Uh, Physical's not as good as it's special, so I guess we'll just continue to use Cell Shot. That was nice. One more. There we go. Good stuff. Absolutely good stuff. 
Hua? Hua indeed. Hua indeed. All right. Uh, there's a thing over there. Got more of this clink. A, that's a dusk stone? Okay. All right, then. All right, uh, before we head over this bridge, I think this is going to be a good spot as any to go ahead and end this episode off here for now. So, yeah, off screen, I'm probably going to go do a bit of training off screen on my own. Probably get everybody to, like, 10, maybe hatch this egg while we're at it. Seems like a good plan. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Con Artist. I'll uh, see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Splice. Again, if you want to play the game yourself, link will be in the description down below. With that being said, thanks for watching again, and yeah, peace out.